welcome to my channel today we will explore enlightenment window manager on ubuntu 20.04 so lubuntu is the perfect lightweight flavor of ubuntu 20.04 to try enlightenment on so when you first install lubuntu you will be prompted for a full upgrade so gpu drivers will also have to be installed i will not bore you with this process let us install e23 I hope the package already exists in the repo. Let us first search for E23. So it does not return any results. Maybe it is called enlightenment. So let us search for enlightenment. So yes, there it is, but it does not tell us the version. We will soon find out. So let us do a sudo apt-get install enlightenment. I will fast forward through the install now. So these are the set of packages that would be installed. these are the dependencies of the window manager enlightenment so it will take some time to install all the dependencies i'm fast forwarding through the process once this is done we will install the nvidia drivers so you select additional drivers and install the latest version of nvidia so it will search for the available drivers so i will fast forward this process too and i will see you on the other side when we will be booting into enlightenment so what you have to do is you have to select enlightenment as your session so this is enlightenment booting up we will answer a couple of configuration questions like the language e23 also has a tiling mode next is the scaling factor let us go to the next screen so this is the scaling factor for a large monitor next is the mod key uh, with the mod key combination you can move resize or open the menu button so i'm selecting alt as my mod key this is a one time configuration so it prompts us to install conman for enabling wifi so it's a wifi module that enlightenment uses we will also keep the composite effects enabled and there we are let us first choose a nice wallpaper there's a great variety of wallpapers available i like this one so this is the wifi module i was talking about so we installed conman and enable the connection manager module i'll show you how the connection manager module is to be enabled so you go to settings extensions modules and let me just resize this under system 
you would find the connection manager module. So once you enable that, it will show up in the I-bar. There are a few other modules too. And we will enable a few of those. It's a very comprehensive list of module options. So E23 also supports Valent and a tiling mode, as I mentioned earlier. You can configure the I-bar too. So these are the modules which have been enabled. So you can get rid of few icons. These are few of the gadgets. Let us look at the other settings under E23. You can change the compositor engine. Uh, you can also change the default style. Then we have options under favorite applications. So you can set your favorite applications here. So what this does is if you right click on your desktop, you will be presented with the list of your favorite applications. So this is also available in the left click menu. There are other options that you can explore under settings. It's a very comprehensive list of options and I won't be going through each of them. So you have startup apps, default apps. You can choose which applications show up in the desktop environment. And you, the unique feature of E23 is it also remembers certain attributes of Windows. So it's a very long list of attributes it can remember. So then we have some other settings like, if you see here, there are settings under performance. You can choose the governor there are settings under power management. A plethora of tweaks are possible. You can change the frame rate too. You can also change the key bindings. So it's a nice little utility to change your key bindings. And next, uh, you can change the default profile from the standard profile to the tiling mode. So extensions is something we already looked at. And there are a few other system-wide settings under these menus. So this is how the desktop look like, looks like. Uh, let us first change the icons that we use under this theme. I suppose it should be under theme or application theme. Yeah, it should be under application theme. So you can also select the second option of enable icon theme for enlightenment to apply the icon theme system-wide. 
so you can see there was an immediate change in the application icons. I would also like to hide the desktop icons and add gadgets to the desktop. So let us see how it's done. So this is an example gadget that I have added. You can add gadgets by right, uh, left click desktop, chain, uh, desktop gadgets and add the gadget of your choice. To hide the icons, uh, you go here under file manager, you can choose the display tab and hide the icons on the desktop. Yeah, it looks just clean and beautiful. You also have a set of virtual desktops configured by default and you switch between them by dragging your moist pointer to the edge of the screen. So to record this video, I'm using Simple Screen Recorder and KDN Live. So I installed KDN Live through an app image. I'm using an app image and it works great. So this is how the screen looks like. And I'm doing this voiceover in KDN Live itself. I tried the snap package of KDN Live, but it was not able to recognize my microphone. So then I went for the app image and it was able to detect my microphone so that I could do the voiceover for this video. I hope you like this video. If there's anything you want me to explore under enlightenment, please let me know in comments and please subscribe. Thank you.